Hey, if you've hung around this channel for a few years, you know I've introduced you to a couple cool cats like Marty's Garden. He grows awesome stuff in small spaces and does vermiculture. And Pepe Fasos, the king of the microgreens. Well, now I want you to meet this guy on TikTok. Dude grows fish. A lot of people ask me about aquaponics, which I don't do. I just do hydroponics. So here's a few short clips from an expert and the links will be down in the description to this channel. So we set up an aquaponics uh, system at a K through eight school last year and check this thing out. This system is being run by fifth graders who are doing all the water testing, the pH, the temperature, the harvesting, the planting, the whole thing. They're learning about sustainability of the oceans, learning a little bit about engineering and plumbing, grow lights, how to restore our oceans, conserve our water supply, and how to feed humanity. All these plants are being grown by just three tilapia. This is incredible. Look how gorgeous this lettuce is that's growing in here. I gotta do a video on these grow lights too because these are actual grow lights with far red LEDs peppered in and that has a big effect on plant growth. And I'll get to that in a later video. Roots are incredible looking on these plants. Next week, we're gonna interview the students and I'll do a TikTok video showing what they're learning. This, y'all, is the future of education. How to use cheap white LED lights to grow plants indoors. Watch this before you go spending money on expensive grow lights. Proof at the end of the video. White LEDs are manufactured by the millions, making them very cheap because they're used for all sorts of human lighting purposes. White LEDs are actually blue LEDs with a phosphor coating, and that makes them fluoresce, creating a full spectrum. Ideal for plant growth. Me and some friends conducted a trial to see how many of these cheap LEDs you would need to grow plants indoors. We determined it would take 120 watts per 2x4 area to get good yields indoors. In just one month, we were able to harvest 4-5 to five pounds of leafy greens under this 120 watts. You can get 40 watt strips off Amazon for just 14 bucks a piece. And you will need 3 to light up a 2 foot by 4 foot area. Great for starting seeds indoors or growing to full term for your salad greens. You're welcome. Like and follow for more. About five weeks ago, I built a hydroponic system that requires no electricity to run. Let's see how it's doing. So this is what they looked like when I planted them about five weeks ago. Let me show you how the system actually works. The plant roots basically were grown in a solution that was up to here, had no aeration, no water pumps or anything. And as the plant roots drink, uh, it creates a humid air space that gives them all the oxygen they need without any pumping. And let's look at the roots. You can see these things are ginormous and there's no pumps or anything. They're just drinking the solution and that humid air space helps. So let's look at the plants. And these are those same seedlings five weeks later. We got bok choy, we have red lettuce, we have butterhead lettuce. Stuff's absolutely beautiful. It is so cool. And all it took was a small concrete mixing tub a piece of styrofoam, some net cups, and some lettuce seedlings, fertilizer. Um, you can see my other video if you subscribe to my channel. How we stage the fish production in our aquaponics greenhouse. We actually order the fry and they're delivered overnight via airplane uh, from New Mexico. They come in at about a half a gram size. And hopefully you can see the little babies in here. We get about 650 at a time, and they live in the fry system until they're one gram. Once they advance to one gram, we grow them all the way to 70 or 80 grams in the fingerling tanks. Once they have matured, then they end up in the grow-out system. The grow-out system is where the fish will reach final maturity of one and a half to two and a half pounds. And this is where their waste is used to grow the 1,200 heads of lettuce a week that you see in the greenhouse. The reason we stage them like this is small fish are not going to be a good use of room in the big tank, so we try and advance them so we can get the most growth out of those big tanks. Follow for more. Ba, 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 ba.